Let the door lock. I seen motherfuckers get chopped the fuck out they mind, man. I'm talking about stabbed up, bro. I'm talking about my nigga. Like, nigga, we can stab in this nigga for like 10, 15 minutes straight. Just walking in the house in my room, gotta make her put it on. She don't like when they cold, just slap con cold. No Carolina, I was licking on booty in the whole lot of vagina. Eat a booze with some ice cream, she remember you. Ice cube, make a gym, she ever like the one they do. Do, see me with the crew, I bet get some food. I see you looking like a dude. Had to make a move, make a move. All right, all right, so go ahead and introduce yourself, my brother. All right, government name, Otis Edward Jones the third. People on the streets, they call me Chuck. But in the pen, I go by many names, many men, a belly, flat, old dub. Right. Life plus 30 years. Life plus 30? And this would be for Life what? Life plus 30 will parole. And this is for what? With cheap murders and uh, murder, a six count indictment. Okay, all right, all right. So, how much time have you been serving so far? Been here since 2003. 20 years, going 20 years, day for day. All right, all right, all right. So, you you more or less a seasoned veteran. You know how to be. Yeah, yeah, shit real. I mean, shit wore it down. But that I mean, shit still get real though. Okay. Alright, so could you could you explain what was your first maybe uh four eight hours like being incarcerated when this all started? Shit was I was scared as shit, yo. Like the shit was this was the penitentiary. I down Jeff. I was down Jeff at the time. It was the call the hand that out back. The shit was still real. Like this is my first time ever doing prison time. I mean, I was, what, 21? I think I was 22 when I when I came to Texas. I was 22 years old. First time in prison. It was scared as shit for real, but you already know how that go, nigga. You can't show face. So nigga 10 toes down. You know what I'm saying? I bumped into a couple niggas that I, from the streets of Baltimore, niggas who had 185 years and shit. And y'all let me like, yo, I got it. You need a banger, yo. You need a knife, yo. I got you, yo. You know where I'm at. I'm saying, shit was all good, you know. Got the meaning with niggas, you know what I'm saying? Old weird niggas took me on his way for real. But you know, at the time, a nigga couldn't really trust nobody, or a nigga probably was on ass. In my mind, I think that nigga trying to fuck a nigga or something. So, you know me, I'm on some old other shit too, like sideways looking at the nigga. So a nigga wasn't even in there for a motherfucking whole six months straight before a nigga, man, hit me all up and shit. Stand me the fuck up and shit in this bitch. Free me out on a helicopter and shit. I mean, so they saved the nigga life and shit for real, but the nigga was almost dead. But that shit came from motherfucker put a hit on me shit for them murders and shit. The nigga man took that hit, do the dude I know. The motherfucker up one shit I bumped into him when I was in the jail. The nigga told me, man, yeah, I know you killed my nephew. You know I'm saying, so yeah, so I ain't know. Me. You know how young niggas is, you could beat the whole fucking world the whole time, man. This nigga done put money on a nigga here, man. And shit still pending. I mean, for all I know, I ain't did, so you know how that shit go on them contracts. But, um, man, shit been rough, yo, yo. In and out this bitch, like, getting wars. I mean, beefing with niggas, beefing with the motherfucking white supremacists and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and as the nigga got older, things start to slow down for all the beef and shit and going to war. But you know, I'm affiliated with a couple Dom O niggas. I fucked the Dom O nation real heavy. Blood, love. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but, um, man, this shit whack, though. At the end of the day, man, I'm 40 years old. Learned a lot. Been through a lot. I seen motherfuckers get chopped the fuck out they mind, man. I'm talking about stabbed up, bro. I'm talking about my nigga. Like, nigga, we can stab in this nigga for like 10, 15 minutes straight. And you might not think that's a long time, but man, just think about you stabbing a motherfucker 10 minutes straight, my nigga. 10 minutes fucking straight, motherfuckers. They got, yo, they were stabbing this nigga so much, man. They stopped stabbing him, man. The police still didn't come, my nigga. Hey, right, man, shit, that shit fucked my head up. Like, nigga came in the shower, man. Like, my first motherfucking month, yeah, I come in the shower. Nigga fucking the boy in that bitch. 
Like, damn, show me what the fuck you doing. You ain't see the chair right there? I ain't know what the fuck. I'm a green and shit. I ain't know why that chair was there. That shit fucked my head up. So, my like, so, hey. so when they put the chair out there, that means that niggas is having a session. Yeah, shit. Yeah, is that shit out there, a nigga doing even sharpen the motherfucker knife up or he fucking a boy in that motherfucker? I'm saying, real shit. That's crazy, man. All right, so I want to go into detail in the two situations. We go one at a time. Talk to me about some of the wars you had to be involved in and, and what happened. As much as you can say. As much as you can say. About the wars that I went into? Yeah, like what What do these things be over? Is it over food? Like is it over just regular disrespect? Man, believe it or not, man, that shit, that shit be over. Then it's all over a microwave, bro. Like, like, like the homies, homies, oh, you might got the Crips and you might got oh, the Conrad's, the Camillas. You know I'm saying? They might be downstairs, the homies and shit. We upstairs. And it might be a situation where it's though, like, yo, I got next in that microwave. So, there's no respect there, so a nigga going to go the microwave. So, words might get exchanged. And next thing you know, man, she just pop off right then and there. I'm talking about the whole motherfucking city getting it in. I mean, I'm talking about life play and everything. And when we get locked down, we might get locked down. Next thing you know, it's popping off in all four buildings over a microwave. You know what I'm saying? Shit might go down over a microwave. You might, you might get in front of a nigga in the line. I mean, a nigga might shoot you over some drink. Nigga make jailhouse wine. You might not pay a nigga two dollars. You know what I'm saying? And then nigga, nigga, you should have gone all in on that. One, two dollars worth of drink. It's a big ass war start. And for the most part, when war start off, man, that should be a bunch of minor shit at the end of the day. It don't be over no thousands and thousands and thousands of nothing, that shit. It be small shit, my nigga. That shit be real small at the end of the day when these wars be jumping off. But one of my specific situations that I was in the shit, when I went up Cumberland and shit, you know, nigga ain't used to no white supremacist, iron brotherhood shit. Nigga ain't never seen no racist shit. Literally, I ain't grow. I never seen that shit growing up. So when I witnessed that shit, I motherfucker straight out want some motherfucking white power shit, my nigga. What you seen? Man, what you, know, you seen? Like, like you seen them like disrespect another like black man? Like what you saw? I'm saying, I'm saying, to me like when they throw up the hitler sign, the salute sign to each other, shit like that. When they when you. You might be like, for instance, we was in the classroom and shit. You be over here. And like, you overhear this shit, and they make sure you hear me shit. So, for me, I, I'm, I take that as a challenge. You know what I'm saying? So, I was like, all right, one of the motherfuckers on the table with me and shit. So, he tried getting the microwave. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, you ain't getting this motherfucking microwave. Unbeknownst to me, them white boys, they get down too. They slain that motherfucking knife too. So I told my homeboy, I'm like, yo, check this out. Yo, let's smash these niggas right now. I'm like, let's get these niggas out the way right now. He's like, nah, yo, that shit ain't about nothing. Them niggas don't want no smoke. So now, I mean, we lock in for about half hour. They do their little count. We come back out, go on a day run. Them niggas pop off on a nigga. They hit me with the razor across the neck. Woof. Hit me trying to hit my motherfucking juggler. So we get it in in the day room. Man, we get in there for like a half hour. I'm talking about throwing down, like rumbling, my nigga. Like the, in the police, they just outside the room, just looking at that motherfucker, just waiting at the nigga done. That's crazy. That shit right there. Yeah, that shit right there. Was, that shit was about the microwave, and I, and my pride, my ego, shit about that. that shit, I wasn't with all that. So, like shit, I'm an incident that they got into. I got into it with the Muslim and shit. That was going so disrespect shit in my cell though. I mean, when uh, shit, shit go down to you. All right, so um, as far as disrespect, what, what exactly happened? I'm saying like, if you, if you disrespect me in prison, like any small thing is a, is a, is a, is a sign of respect and disrespect. For Facts. instance, like, you just buffing in somebody. You know what I'm saying? We have a town. Like, you can bump into somebody and you're not saying, excuse me, oh, my bad. Uh -huh. you can, I, can take, I take that as a challenge. I take that as a challenge. Or if we become cell buddies, 
you know, it's a sad, like, man, old head niggas, man, they be stuck in their ways. And I didn't understand it until I got all these 20 motherfucking years, and I'm stuck in my ways. I like my fella a certain way. I'm clean. You take a piss, wash your fucking hands, wipe the toilet down with the bleach. You know what I'm saying? You got motherfuckers that's dirty, dirty ass niggas. Or niggas don't respect. You had a TV all up all loud and shit while you trying to speak. And I don't want to put their headphones on, so they they still they want hurt you. They want to push your buttons. They want to test you, especially the young niggas. They want to test you, see if you about that gangster shit. So they might have the TV up. That's the nigga want to keep having the TV. I'm like, yo, turn the TV down for me. Yo, I'm trying to sleep. You know what I'm saying? But the nigga wasn't doing it. My nigga, like, the nigga wanted to die. He wanted to die. Like, man, I got life. Like, nigga, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, man. Shit, two days passed, that nigga was taking a piss, I slapped that nigga in the hell, man, choked his dumb ass out. Hey, man, so res- respect is important, respect is important. Yeah, respect, respect is important, you, you respect, your word, I mean, integrity, all this shit in your name, your name means something. It might not, it might not mean something like a small thing, a dollar, if you owe somebody a dollar, Owe somebody two dollars. You owe somebody a hundred thousand dollars. That shit means some people don't forget. If you owe somebody a penny and they want that penny, that's theirs. That's their right to that penny. Just walking in the house in my room, gotta make a pretty doll show light when clothes just left car call. No care lot. I was licking on booty in the whole lot of vagina. Eat a booze with some ice cream, sure remember you. Ice cube, make it chip shit like the one do. do see me with the crew. I done get some food. I see you looking like a dude. Had to make a move, make a 